I think what is similar about all the students who are here to participate this week is our sense of curiosity. And we're all photographing the world in you know, different geographic regions of the world. Um, we're all photographing in a very different way. We're all engaging in a different, di very different level on very different stories. But I think the underlying thing is we're all very curious about the world and we all want to explore that to say something about the world which we value and think is important. And that seems to be the, the common thread. I'm telling the story of you know, a, de a small demographic of the, the soldiers and Marines which are in Afghanistan and they're the guys, they're the, the grunts, the guys out there who are involved in the, you know, the physical implementation of this so-called security. I think we think about war as a very exciting, um, high energy place, but most of the time it's not. Most of the time people are sitting around talking shit, discussing their families or their aspirations for after war, um, especially the young guys, you know. You know, they talk about their girlfriends and cars and movies and video games. And they also have conversations which are a little more intelligent than, you know, uh, I guess those more common things. Um, you know, they have their own disillusion with the war. Uh, many of the troops ran off in this spirit of post-9 nationalism. And I think after serving in a place like Afghanistan, that, is, that, that opinion and that sense of nationalism is very challenged because they have trouble seeing how this you know, war on terror relates to this fight that they're fighting on a very local level. Um, they have trouble seeing how these um, ideas like Al-Qaeda relate to some of the rural insurgencies that they're caught up in. And every now and then a bomb explodes and people lose friends or people lose legs. Um, people die. One of the challenges I'm facing now as a photographer um, who's really embarking on his first, uh, I guess, major body of work, is how I bring something out of that uh, which becomes my voice and my comment on the war. Um, and I guess encapsulate something about this conflict. Uh, and that is a sense of boredom. Um, it's a sense of frustration. And within that, it's also about confronting my own boredom and my own frustration, because I have lots of it. Um, work, working in a conflict zone isn't an easy place to work. Going back to the same place isn't an easy place to work. And photography is also, you know, as everyone's quite aware, is a very lonely pursuit. So it's about confronting my own boredom and frustration and kind of living through that experience with the guys on the ground who are experiencing the same things and bringing that out of the story. And that's what I'm tr really trying to find now in my work. I'm not sure I'm, I'm getting that yet. Um, it's a, it's a bit of a learning process, but that's, that's what I'm looking for. I think I found the masterclass disillusioning in some respects, but in an extremely healthy way because it's forcing me to confront my own work. Uh, and I've been living in this um, you know, world of hype for the last 12 months. I've been very caught up in this idea of going to, going to war and processing those emotions and processing those emotions when I get back from war and I've had very little time to stop and reflect on my own work. So participating in the masterclass this week um, has forced me to sit down with some people that are very astute visually and to confront the kinds of images they're making and question how I'm making them and look at how I can direct that image making um, to a more refined and sophisticated form and how to bring out something in the story that I'm approaching. I know I can find work as a photographer and I do that through sourcing work in an edi editorial climate which is, um, which is diminishing uh, through being proactive. And I pitch a lot of my stories, I organise trips and then approach people at the last minute when it's easy for them to say yes or no uh, in regards to their support for the trip and it works. Uh, and I, I embark on things which people tend to find interesting and I think that's the key as, as a young photographer. I, th I don't think you can, the days of sitting back and waiting for the phone to ring are well and truly over. But I think if you're out there and you're believing in the stories that you're working on and you just keep pursuing them and keep this ball rolling, somehow, if you believe in it, people come to the party who will believe also.